Good morning, everyone. How are you? Hi, Diana. Hi, Jill. Good to see you again. Welcome to the Saturday YouTube live stream. When you get in, please be sure and comment. Let me know you're here. Maybe say where you're from. Couple of people checked in already. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. Can you guys hear me okay? Is the audio okay? Not too loud. I'll wait till we get some more people. Good morning, Janice from Palm Desert. Happy you're here. Good morning, Oceanside, California. Is my audio okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Oh, I'm, I'm jealous, Colby. I'm always jealous when I see you from uh, Hawaii. Thank you, Jill. I appreciate that. Fremont, California. Diana, I have been there many times. I love Fremont. Richfield, Washington. Well, hey, neighbor. Massachusetts. Glad you're here, Amima. California. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Carol. Good, good. So today was a, a toss-up between a Valentine's Day recipe and a Super Bowl recipe. I wasn't sure which one to do for the live demo, so I thought I'd make a, a sweet treat for you for Valentine's Day coming up next week. And then tomorrow on the blog, I'll have a new Super Bowl recipe. I'm actually going to make some... Uh... Thank you, Marilyn. I'm going to make some queso, some... Uh... Chili cheese queso dip for your Super Bowl game. And guys, I do not recommend you drop the can of tomatoes on your toe. It does not feel good. And it leaves your toe really purple. <laughs> I don't think I broke it. It's not painful. I can walk on it. But oh, that hurt. But anyway, Super Bowl tomorrow. Recipe tomorrow. And today we're going to make my mug cake. I've made this mug cake many times. I've always made it according to my recipe on the blog. It should be a link down below for the recipe. And uh, I've never made it gluten-free, so we're going to try that. We may make it both ways. We'll see. Quick announcement about the cookbooks. I have about 25 orders being shipped out tomorrow. Excuse me, Monday. Monday. So if you've ordered a cookbook recently, shipping is Monday. I'll get them out to you as quick as I can. Oh no, what, Colby? What happened? And if you'd like to have a cookbook, I do have one. Link is down below, and there's still plenty left. So click below to get the link. What happened, Colby? You're scaring me with the oh no. Twenty two people on <laughs> plant based queso, no wisteria. That's right. So hopefully the uh, video quality is a little bit better than it used to be. I'm still playing around with the lights in here. 
Obviously, I'm playing around with the audio in here, trying to get all of this set up and ready. Guys, I really want to start doing, oh, the, my pain on my toe. Thank you, Colby. It's fine. I really want to start doing some cooking classes for you guys. Um, I'm thinking my first class, I can't tell you when, I'm it's still in here churning around. I want to do a class on chili peppers. You know I love spicy, uh, spicy food, Mexican food, and uh, dried chili pods, the New Mexico, the Guajillo, the Ancho, all that kind of stuff that I play with. I'd like to do a class on those. So that's my first class, I, I think. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. So before I can actually do the class, I have to make all of these little tweaks in here to the lights, the cameras, the audio, all of that techie stuff. I'm not great at it. So I'm learning, learning as I go. Every week I tweak something new. Um, I did add another camera. So now we have, whoops, not that one, that one. We have a little side view over here. So you can get close-ups, as well as the top-down we've always had, and my front-facing camera. Joel just went to print out the mug cake recipe. I have my printout, because this is not on a cookbook, guys. I, I don't have any sweets on the cookbook, but it is on the blog. It's a very old recipe, and um, the pictures are not the best. I apologize. One of these days, I'm going to redo all the recipes on my blog. Yeah, please don't forget the thumbs up. That helps YouTube see that you like this stuff and you uh, want them to share it with other people. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Be helpful, too. And if anybody is in the area... Um, what's going on? Oh, Alexa. Yeah. If any of you are in the area of Portland, Oregon, around March 10th, I will be speaking at the Irenko Northwest Veg Potluck. That's at 5 o'clock in the afternoon to about 7, 7.30ish. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, there's that. As we get closer and I get an exact location, I'll set up an event on my uh, Facebook page so you can click a link. But keep that in mind, March 10th. I don't know what I'm speaking about yet. I think I'm going to do something along the lines of it's the food. Like, where have we heard that before? McDougal, uh, Clapper. But it really is. And it's uh, so true. My wife's had blood pressure issues for a while, and we are starting to see results finally from what we are doing, and which is just eating very well, very clean, and getting lots of movement every day, thanks to Dr. Ornish and his program, eat well, move more. When I walk, that takes my stress away, so stress less, and love more. We have this wonderful support group, again, link down below, where we all meet every day and talk about anything and all kinds of stuff. Hey, Trish, thank you for the comment. Love this recipe. So yummy and so quick. Glad you like it. So let's get started. I have a couple of Valentine's Day, uh, Day mugs here. We'll start with this one. We're going to make the gluten-free first. Again, I have never done this. Will it turn out? It might. It might not. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to start by making some oat flour. I bought this recently. This is a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder. I'm going to use it to make chili powder. But you can also do it, use it to make oat flour. And this is just rolled oats. Quaker, old fashioned. We need a couple of tablespoons. That should be good. I grind this up to a fine powder, to a flour. Again, use whatever kind of oatmeal you have. You can buy oat flour too. I 
it does a pretty good job. Got to remember which camera I'm on. First time I've used this thing. I like it. Yeah, so that comes off. Cool. And then that comes off like that and makes a mess. <laughs> all right, we'll figure this out. Not bad, not bad at all. Clean up our mess. We need two tablespoons of this flour. Again, if you're making the original recipe on the blog, I use plain old, old fashioned flour. But in this case, we're gonna try oat flour. So, a couple of tablespoons. There's one. And there's two. Forgot to switch camera back. Sorry about that. Good morning, Brenda. I use oat flour all the time with this recipe. No issues. Good. That's good to know, Trish. Thank you. Audio is always quiet on my computer, but it's good on my phone. Maybe you have a setting on your computer, Brenda, you need to tweak. Okay. So what else do we need? Two teaspoons of sugar. And... I normally use like white sugar, brown sugar. Again, we're trying something new. For those of you who avoid that kind of stuff, I'm going to use date sugar. So one teaspoon. Trying to find one without a bunch of clumps in it. There we go. Two teaspoons. You can find date sugar, Whole Foods, places like that. You could also try um, maple syrup if you want. So I'm gonna whisk this together. This is just oat flour and date sugar. Good morning, Joe. We need two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. There's one. This is a chocolate mug cake. Other than the oat flour and the date sugar, most of these ingredients are probably already in your pantry. And like I said, you don't have to use oat flour. I normally use regular flour, all purpose flour, and just plain table sugar, but we're trying something new. Hey Chuck, I got your cookbook recently. I bought some ingredients for your recipes. I'm right excited to try them. The Black Bean Crochet Queen. Nice. Good morning, Mark. Glad to see you. Good morning, Di. Marilyn says her Walmart has both the date lady syrup and the sugar. So you can find a date sugar at Walmart. Good to know. Thank you, Marilyn. Okay, we need a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I'm making this right in the mug. You see that, don't you? This is so easy. pinch of salt. Remember your whisk. There we go. 
and the, another reason I like this recipe a lot, it's single serving, so I'm not tempted to eat. I can eat the whole thing if I want. One of you had a dessert in front of you that you can actually eat the whole thing if you wanted to. Okay, so that's the dry ingredients. We got two tablespoons of oat flour. I got two teaspoons of date sugar, two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. I'm gonna start with some applesauce. This replaces the oil. I saw my video kind of hesitate. If you see any problems, let me know. Okay, one tablespoon of applesauce. And these little cups are perfect. Because I'll eat this after the live stream. No waste. And two tablespoons. It says unsweetened almond milk. You can use whatever plant milk you like. This is going to make our batter. There's one, two, okay. And we whisk all this together. Get my head out of the way. I do that a lot, I'm sorry. Make sure there's no dry ingredients left in the corners or on the bottom. That looks really good. Stir in your cacao chips, one to two tablespoons. These are like 70% dark chocolate cacao. It says one to two tablespoons. We'll do one and a half, how's that? There we go. And I got a fork right here. I got a knife right there. Let me use my whisk. Just kind of stir those in. Good morning, life with Darcy. Good morning, Darcy. Karen, a dab of vanilla extract. That would be good. Yes, definitely. Feel free to modify this, guys. Tweak it however you like. We got the cocoa chips in. And uh, so reading the instructions, whisk all the dry ingredients in a large coffee mug until it's uniform. We did that. Add in the wet ingredients and mix to form a smooth batter. We did that. Stir in the cocoa chips if using. We just did that. And now we're going to add some peanut butter, like a tablespoon. I like creamy. If you like crunchy, do that. Just a little bit of your favorite peanut butter. And we're not going to mix it in. I like to put it down like in the middle, kind of like bury it inside. Tablespoon. And try not to make a mess. There we go. So I'm trying to like stuff it down in the middle. Kind of like that. That'll be fine. And the only thing left to do is microwave this for one minute. This is a very weak, low power, college dorm style microwave. It may take longer than a minute. Uh, 
Um, PB2. You know, I haven't tried that, Diana, but you could. I would try it. Good morning, Debbie. I like to add the creamy peanut butter because it's a, it's a chocolate cake and you kind of have that cream-filled peanut butter. Uh, I don't think a powdered PB2 would give you that same feeling. That's a texture thing. But definitely try it. If you like it, why not? Ten seconds to go. Here I am having chocolate cake for breakfast. How healthy is that? And there you go. It's chocolate cake, guys. You could almost take a couple more of these chips and just sprinkle them on top and let them melt and kind of have a, a chocolate icing if you want. Yeah, see that? They're already melting. The lighting's not the best. Ow, it's hot though. There's a camera. And it's all inside a mug. It doesn't come all the way up to the top. It, mine's about halfway down. Again, this is a single serving. This is real something quick and easy when you want a sweet treat. Hey, Keith from Tualatin, glad you're here. Again, I haven't tried this with uh, oat flour. I'm gonna put it back in. For about 15 seconds maybe. But it does have that really, really moist chocolate cake feel to it. Yes, you could take some PB2 and add some water to make a paste. Definitely. Somebody asked Keith, where's Tualatin? Tualatin is a little community in the Portland area. That's on the south side. It's near Portland, Jill. So again, here you go. Here's a look. Nothing fancy, it's just for when you want a really sweet treat. Here's an easy way to make a chocolate cake. Single serving, no fat, no dairy. That is a cool idea, Colby. I'll copy this. You can put the dry ingredients in a little bag Attach instructions and give it away on Valentine's Day. One more. I just want to eat the whole thing. So I'll have chocolate face in front of you. That's really good. <clears throat> Very hot. And there you go. That's my recipe this morning. Really easy. Anybody can make this. <clears throat> and it tastes amazing. And it was so fast. Yeah, in a Valentine's mug, you could totally do that. Something like this. Go to the dollar store, pick up some mugs. Wow, we have Yorkshire, England. Welcome. Glad you guys are here. 
Welcome to my live stream. I'm gonna put these up front so you can see the ingredients I use. Again, these are probably ingredients a lot of you have in your pantry. The little single servings of applesauce, baking powder. This is date sugar, chocolate chips. I made my own oat flour just a minute ago. I used a little coffee grinder. Super simple. Again, I've never tried the gluten-free before and it worked. It totally worked. So there you go. Hi, OM. Glad you're here. And this little coffee grinder, guys, I picked up. You probably don't have one. We have a little store here in the Portland area called Biomart. It's like a little tiny Walmart, <laughs> a little bit of everything in it. But they had this on sale for like 25 bucks. And that's really, really cheap for a coffee grinder. So I'm going to use this coffee grinder to take chili pods and make my own chili powder. But for any kind of spice grinding or making oat flour or making a mess uh, like me, these are really, really nice. There we go. Getting it back together seems to be an issue though. There we go. Line it up right, Chuck. I have dropsy. I've had dropsy for the last couple of days. I've been dropping everything. And uh, yeah, yesterday I dropped a can of tomatoes on my toe. <laughs> now it's nice and purple. There we go. Line everything up. Darcy says, Dairy Yorkshire is my very favorite place on earth. Hello from Wisconsin. Nice. So Mark asks, is date sugar different from date powder? I'm not familiar with date sugar. I have some. I don't use it that often. So maybe somebody who is more familiar with it can answer that question. How is it different from date powder. And where do I get the little whisk? I love this little whisk. I use it a lot. Um, any big box store, Fred Meyer, Walmart. Darcy, I'm glad you like it. I'm sure Wisconsin is lovely too. Oh, nice. Maybe you guys can have uh, be pen pals. Is that even a thing anymore? Pen pals? So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have um, some queso dip. I have my cheese sauce, which is on the blog and it's in my new cookbook. And I'm going to add some uh, green chilies Maybe some chipotle, some uh, the Rotel tomatoes, which now have a dent in the can because I dropped it on my toe. <laughs> and um, trying to think of what else I got. Some green onions, some garlic. It'll be a really nice dip. Hi, hey, Terry Moses. Yeah, I was dropping everything yesterday. I don't know why. So if you guys didn't know, I have a newsletter. I think I put the link down below. It's called uh, Substack. Join that. I mean, you get a, a, an email from me every week if you're not familiar. And this YouTube show is something I've been doing 
for about a month now. And really, it was a way for me to get... One, it was a way for me to not use my live streaming hours I get with Mighty Networks on Saturdays. I can still live stream with YouTube. And all the people from my support group come over and watch. They're here this morning. Thank you, guys. But it also lets me introduce you guys who are on YouTube to me and what I do, my channel. And it's also giving you a taste of what I do. I like to cook and show people what I'm cooking, how I do it. And it gives me practice for one day doing the cooking class I want to do. So that's the whole idea behind this channel and all the cooking. I am whole food, plant-based. I don't use oil. I do follow all the plant-based doctors, Medugal, Essie, Ornish, Furman, Barnard, you name it, Grieger. Oh, the Asian ones for Super Bowl tomorrow. That would be really good. And Mark, um, I think somewhere in the last few pages of my blog, uh, the, the most recent recipes of my blog, there's a lot of Korean recipes. You could make a gochujang sauce for a dipping sauce. That would be really good. So Marilyn Mark said, I believe that date sugar and date powder is the same. Okay, you saw that. Good. I don't use white sugar hardly ever um, anymore. I used to. If, if, if I use powdered sugar at all, I use brown sugar. And that's not even very often anymore either. Most of the time I use uh, maple syrup and then all the sweetener I need. Maple syrup to me is a natural food comes right out of the tree. So it's a real food. It's not a processed food. Um, but date sugar, I know a lot of people use it and I do have some. So that's why we did it today. It is sweet. What else you guys got? You got about 15 minutes left. Any questions I can answer for you? Anything you want to know about me or my blog or a recipe? The food? I can tell you in my support group, we've been uh, logging our, our rings. A lot of us have Apple Watches. And if you exercise with your Apple Watch, you can close your ring. And uh, we set our goals up to be very similar, and we're challenging each other to close all three of our rings. So exercise, movement, and standing. I have right now my exercise set at 35, 35 minutes a day, because all the plant-based doctors say even a half an hour of exercise a day is good for you. Totally agree. And my movement is set for like 450 calories. I'm getting ready to up it because I've been easily making the 450. And uh, standing 12 hours. But since I've been closing the rings um, and doing my walking, and I do some VR exercises with Beat Saber, my wife likes Supernatural. If, I, if you have an Oculus Quest VR headset, those are some simple games that let you exercise um, when it's rainy outside. Otherwise, I'm walking the neighborhood. Since I've been doing that, um, blood pressure has been dropping like a rock. I'm happy about that. Not that long ago, I can't answer why, but my blood pressure shot up. And of course, my wife's been having blood pressure issues for a while now. Doctor they, all they want to do is just give her another pill. They're not even trying to find out the root cause. So we've been doing this ourselves. Again, we're reading Dr. Ornish's Undo It in our book club, in the support group. So we are eating well. Uh, my dinner last night was a giant, like one pound baked potato with some green chili, red chili from New Mexico, some cilantro. It was really good, really filling. 
Um, our lunches have been some salads here and there, some soups, bean soup, stuff like that. Eating well and moving more, closing our rings, and then stressing less, trying to find ways to reduce our stress. So, like I said, for me, walking is a good stress re reliever. You're out in nature, you got the birds and the rain or whatever. It's very calming for me. So I think that's helped. And uh, we're seeing the results, finally, after doing this for, well, since January 1st. It's really helping. My wife's told me this morning that she feels the best she's felt in years. So that means a lot to me. Terry Moses said, question, have you made rice paper bacon? No. I can't. I can't. This is me, my opinion, okay? I can't see using rice paper or something I wouldn't normally buy just to make bacon. I don't miss bacon that much. If I want to have bacon, I will use tofu. Because again, this is me. In my opinion, I think there's more nutrition in tofu than there is in rice paper. So I would rather use something else besides rice paper, tofu. I've made carrot bacon before. I've tried eggplant bacon. There's lots of ways you can make it, but I have not done the rice paper. Um, Colby. Oh, my cauliflower wings are a staple for Super Bowl. Hi, Tartar. Welcome. And how did the mug cake turn out? Tally, well, I think it turned out really well. You can see it, well, if I get underneath the camera. I need to have a white plate. There we go. <laughs> Which way is best? You can see it that way with the fork out of the way. Yeah, it came out really cute. And I'm totally going to devour this when I get off camera. Hi, Marion. Yeah, I like tofu bacon a lot. You can make it as thick and thin or thin as you want. For slicing tofu, for tofu bacon, I like to use a cheese slicer. And you really want to press your tofu as much as you can, get it really, really firm, and then take a cheese slicer. And then you get perfectly sliced uh, slices of tofu to make bacon with. You're welcome, Terry. Next week, I'll try to have a recipe that's not done in like two minutes. <laughs> a one that takes a little bit longer. Uh, does anybody try the recipe with almond butter instead of peanut butter? I think it would be amazing, Cora. I really do. By all means, try almond butter. If you like that instead of peanut butter. I, when I first made this, again, this is a very old recipe. This was a recipe that came out. Is it on the recipe sheet? Um, no, but it's like, my blog is 10 years old, so it's like eight years old. But I used what I had in my pantry and that was uh, peanut butter. That's an idea. Marion uses an old hard boiled egg slicer to slice tofu for bacon. Very good idea. My maple bacon marinade makes all kinds of great bacon, carrot, tofu, tempeh, mushroom. And yeah, I use that marinade for everything. It's really good. If you don't like liquid smoke, which is part of the recipe, you can just use more um, smoked paprika. So Trish makes this mug cake with maple syrup instead of date syrup and almond butter, and she says it's delicious. So there you go. Answered your question. 
I hope you guys have a nice Valentine's Day next week. I have to, uh, I have to get ready because my wife Rhonda told me she's already bought me something. I have no idea what. So now I, I feel obligated to, uh, Valentine's Day is one of those holidays. It's great for the businesses to make a lot of money. I saw the same dozen roses at the store a month ago for like 20 bucks and now they're 60, right? But I'll go out and get her something. But yeah, Super Bowl tomorrow. I'll try and get the recipe for the uh, queso out early so you can make it before the game. Whoever you're rooting for, 49ers or the Chiefs, again. I'm going with the underdog. Go 49ers. Again, whoever's here from Fremont, Diana, I think. I love Fremont, Belmont, that whole area, Mountain View. Uh, I've been there many times for training when I was with Intel. Always had a good time. I made one trip there and we actually played tours for the first time and went down to the uh, uh, San Jose. I got to tour the uh, Winchester Mystery Mansion. That was something. That was cool. And I did uh, the touristy thing and did Alcatraz Island. That was spooky. But yeah, I love San Fran. I just braved the grocery store the day before Super Bowl. Yeah, it was crowded at mine yesterday too. Is the maple bacon marinade in the book? Um, Marion, Lisa, do you guys remember? I think it is. Yes. It is. Page 66. Smoky maple tohu bacon. So, yeah, it's here. Again, there's still quite a few left. Another full box. And 25 of these are going out on Monday. If you haven't ordered one yet, link's down below. People are loving it. Char Char said, I bought two dozen roses at Whole Foods with Prime for 25 bucks. Wow. That's cheap. Because the bouquets I was seeing at Fred Meyer yesterday were 50 and 60 bucks, 70 bucks. We got 41 likes. Let's see, I haven't checked this in a while. 27 people online. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. So watching this, let me ask you a question. We got a few minutes left. Watching this and maybe some of the last weeks, can you see me doing a cooking class in this format? And if you can, is there anything you would change? Audio, lighting, anything like that. And by cooking class, I mean like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours worth of cooking, two or three recipes at a time, all theme-based, you know, chili peppers or maybe Korean or Mexican, something like that. Can you guys see that? Can you picture that? And more importantly, is there anything you would change so I can kind of prepare myself to get ready for it? You're welcome, Terry. And if you want to think about that and answer me back on Facebook with a DM or in my support group or email, um, that's fine. Or comment down below on the uh, YouTube comments. I'd really interesting, uh, interested in what you think. There we go. Absolutely, that would be fantastic. All right. Not putting my head in the shot. My camera, Terry, is right here. 
And if I always forget because I lean over like my island here. But if I'm not careful and I lean too far, yeah, my head gets in there. So I apologize for that. I'll have to work on that. I don't, don't know what the solution to that is. Be more aware. But thank you for that, Terry. Yeah, you got a point. I understand. Well, thank you guys. It's quarter till. I, really super simple recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's very easy and uh, it's totally something you can make. I'm going to pull this out of the spoon so you can see. I've got all the stuff in the way now. Move, 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 move. I'll eat that applesauce. That. My coffee mug. Hit the wrong button again. Yeah, can you guys see that? See, I'm thinking I need to work on the lighting a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. If I zoom in. And focus. Oops, sorry. Yeah, more more lights, but yeah. Chocolate cake. Why is that so dark? I'm afraid if I crank this up really bright. Chocolate cake. Anyway, I'll play with the lights. I'll get them all working. A sticky note for my head. <laughs> Thank you, Mar Marion. I appreciate that. Organization is a major importance of a class. I am not organized, Diana. I will admit that. So I got to work on that. It's the ADHD in me. Brenda can relate, I'm sure. And she said, I love soy curl bacon. Yeah, me too. Uh, hi there, Lawana. When I'm looking for YouTube videos and journal to watch, I tend to go to the shorter ones first, less than 20 minutes. So this is not a YouTube video I'm thinking about doing. It is a actual class that you have to pay for. All right, Jill. Oh, it's, tell Kathy I said hi, Jill. And Jill says she lives in Fremont and Belmont. Oh, I love those places. And Terry said, just letting you know. I, I, you're right, Terry. Definitely. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Uh, I will see you next week for sure. I don't know what we're making yet. I'll let you know. Have a happy thing, or Valentine's Day next week, and enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow if you're into it. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. I'm trying. It's all new to me. I was a blogger. I wasn't the video production guy. So, yeah, see, now I turned that light up. It's too bright. I can see it. I'll get it all figured out. Trish got all the ingredients at Aldi. Very affordable. Good. Good, 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 good. So until next week, I will see you guys later in my support group. I will see you Monday morning. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for being here again. Appreciate all the uh, love and support. Hope your team wins. Yes, hope the best man wins tomorrow, definitely. Colby, see you later. Darcy, have a great day. Bye, Marion. Bye, you guys. And... Uh, Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. Again, if anybody's here around March 10th, you can come see me live. Uh, it'll be in the Arenco area of Hillsboro, Oregon. So until then, see you guys. Thanks. Enjoy your weekend.